Good afternoon everybody, this is USS Princeton 2004 here and I just got off work heading home once again and I hope everybody's doing fine I'm doing great myself And it's getting hotter every day. Yesterday was in the upper 80s. And today it reached the 90s. <clears throat> but I don't mind hot weather. I'd rather it be hot than cold. And for the main reason is that why well, that's uh, because I like to ride my motorcycle, and you know, warmer weather is more conducive. And yesterday I had tried to record on my opinions on a certain subject matter and I thought I had recorded it but once again my Vado cut off after like two or three seconds so I'll just try to record this video what I had talked about yesterday and the subject was about the recent news involving Arnold Schwarzenegger and his separation with his longtime wife Maria Shriver and I'm pretty sure the main reason why they decided to split is that because Arnold Schwarzenegger had an illeg illegitimate child with his housekeeper and he had kept it a secret for 10 years and I guess Maria Shriver had just found out about it and decided to end, the, end their marriage. And yeah, I, I was really shocked at the news because I had always looked at Arnold Schwarzenegger with the highest regards and a lot of respect and you know, I really admired the guy for being such a great bodybuilder and actor and politician. And it was, it was such a surprise to hear of such a scandal involving himself and his housekeeper and I mean from his actions I can't really look at the guy the same way as I had before 
and that had put him in such a high pedestal but his shenanigans with his housewife uh, has knocked him down a few notches on my uh, respect of uh, my uh, respected people and I, uh, out of all the people he could have had sex with, he chose to have had sex with his housekeeper. I mean, how desperate could you possibly be? And being rich and famous, such as Arnold, I would guess, I would think that there would be other options for him in terms of other women out in the world. I mean, I'm sure he could have had a better choice of choosing which particular girl to have sex with. And, and if you're going to cheat on your wife, you might as well choose somebody that's pretty and you know somebody upstanding in in society or you know just just as long as the, the lady is beautiful i mean it's just surprising and hard to believe that he just picked just a regular old housekeeper who isn't very attractive at all to have sex with. And like I said, to be rich and famous like Arnold, I mean I wouldn't, you know, be so hateful to the guy. I mean, I don't hate the guy, but I despise his actions because he is such a role model to a lot of people. And I mean, I'll never look at him the same way again, ever. And I don't know if he can revive his Hollywood career. And I mean, some people, you know, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. And I mean, I would have overlooked the fact that he had sex with somebody else. I mean, a lot of people cheat on their wives, but to do it with the housekeeper, I mean, <laughs> that is so dumb and so low class. I thought Arnold has had more class than that. I mean, a lot of his movies have some kind of some kind of um, moral uh, story to it, or some kind of. Um, positive outlook on his movies and you know it's it just seems out of character for him to have sex with his housekeeper and he had kept it a secret 
for him and the housekeeper having a child together, an illegitimate child for 10 years. So, I'm surprised it, the secret has lasted that long. I mean, if I was the housekeeper, I would have demanded, you know, some kind of monetary um, some kind of monetary uh, benefit out of, you know, having an unborn child. And I wouldn't have kept it a secret and waited for 10 years. That's, that's what I would have done if I was the housekeeper. I would have immediately, you know, demanded Arnold to take responsibility, you know, as soon as she had gotten pregnant. But apparently, uh, Arnold has uh, had done a great job at keeping his wife uninformed. Well, you know, some people you never know. You think they're they're like the greatest role model out there, but then you know they make their mistakes. And I mean, I can see that you can make a mistake. I mean, everybody's human, and to err is human. But I mean, do it with somebody that's pretty and not your housekeeper at least, at the very least. Well, anyway, this is USS Princeton 2004 signing up.